I think pretty substantially. Um, France uh, has declined to take some US LNG shipments because they can't verify the emissions, uh, the embodied carbon on that product. And so I think it's pressuring some LNG players here to work with their suppliers, uh, upstream producers, to start to take on some of those challenges to have the data. You know, one, you know, stop flaring, do the obvious things, but also starting to collect better data. So I think that's really fascinating. That's market development way over there in Europe is having a really clear impact on, on driving behavioral change here. But I think more broadly, I, I was uh, at COP26 in Glasgow in November, uh, my first COP I've attended. Um, and it was, it was interesting, fascinating conversations, but I think the rules that we're starting to see emerge, like the UK now has compulsory climate disclosure. We're gonna see the same coming out of Europe relatively soon, EU is still negotiating, but those rules are having a big impact and for these global companies who are going to be forced to report over there it's forcing them to get their acts together their houses in order get their measurements in place get their reporting in place so that they're going to be prepped for the likely you know sec disclosure rules coming soon as well so i, I do think europe just like sort of gdpr where they're now sort of like the data privacy governance a global regulator in a way we're seeing the same thing happen with environmental regulations as well